You're my wife, wait. <laughs> this is the second night. I don't know if y'all can see this. Come on here to my here. Right on my, my little private barbecue. See here. I'm just using to do this sculpture thing, which is really not turned out into a very impressive sculpture. Sorry, Kevin and uh, Jefferson. So we'll get the fire going, and I'm gonna have to. I bought some uh, hot wings from Sam's Club. I thought I could get a steal on them, but they're already already cooked. So I'm just gonna smoke them down. It's gonna be weird because I, you know, I invited uh, invited Bella back over to recap the work. You know, and uh, got some chicken wire. I didn't ever done this before. Smoke that chicken wire up and stick them there hot wings in it. And I'm gonna smoke it for I don't know, like three or four hours. It's the thing is already cooked, so all the work's already been done. Maybe. Okay, so you see, I'm gonna put this here. Give us a little bit more. Get it going. Here's what it looks like. I'm gonna let this guy sit off for a while. Let's come back around here. And Here's the uh, hot wing. This is like this hot wing thing I made with a. I don't know. It's it like a chicken tree. Chick well, yeah, it has. Like, I mean, like a chicken wire tree. Yeah. And I like. It turned out pretty good. Mm hmm. Got a lot of barbecue sauce on it. Yeah, they are good. You can thank uh, Kevin and Jefferson Rowe. Mm -hmm. you, you guys donated. But it's not really totally complete, so I'm gonna go ahead and make some, redonate, remake another one. I'm gonna show you some artwork, and then uh, this is the last of the Friday Tink stuff coming out. I feel like you lured me to your house of chicken. <laughs> it was awesome. Taste this is 13 of 13. It's the last painting of the whole set. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Have I seen 13 paintings? No. Nah, well, I think you only seen like four. Of them. Oh yes. Others are kind of boring. They're just sort of. They don't have the sort of drama to it. All right. So what do you think of, uh, what it, when you see this painting, what do you think of right off the bat? Okay, well first of all, what does it say? It says, no, please don't do it. We love you, we cannot live without you. So there's a, wait a second. Is the man saying that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, so... Is it establishing that it has to be one or the other, or if she goes, she's going to take him with her? Basically, with her. Yeah. So you don't know the whole history of like internet stuff. You don't. You're not even. You don't follow the chicken George crap. You don't know about. Uh uh This is a, like a painting that was, I shot a video of this lady who wanted to kill herself. Uh mm huh. -hmm. And she had. She was haunted by all these characters, you know, and so she just wanted to be done with all the. So she ended up. I made this video, and so she ended up doing it. But I thought. Well, you know what? Uh, if she tries to kill herself, well, where's all the stalkers and all this? That's just so self-centered. Uh huh. You know, we're, we're the ones that would say something like, "Please don't do it. We love you. We can't live without you." Wait, is that what she's trying? That was. That, that's what we. That's what no. That's what us stalk our fans, our stalker fans would. Mm hmm. Why in the heck would you want to kill yourself and deny us stalkability? Us. Uh huh. So you're saying that the um. Like that, she owes it to the people to stay alive so that yeah, she can so like, be yeah, like if she, <laughs> yeah. if she dies, we die, and that's what I'm trying to beg her. I said, Don't do that, please. Oh, I see. You know, it's like a plea to say, Stay alive, don't kill yourself don't because you can no longer uh, uh, immerse yourself in the fancy of this person if she is no longer around. Yeah, if she kills herself, that's retarded. That's so, so it's so self centered when you believe a suicide. It's like, How are it we also gonna, actually. how are we gonna stalk her if she's not there? Mm hmm Well, maybe just be her friend. <laughs> we are her friend. However, we are her friend. However, she has been stripped and she's naked. She also has no face. Well, I just covered it up. Is this actually a character or, or a generalized woman? It's just the simple... I want to show you this other painting. I, know it, I didn't do this. This other friend of mine did this. Mm -hmm. There's this painting that's floated up on the internet. I don't feel like it's, it's really special you know it's like i almost consider it like almost like a masterpiece and if you can see the this thing right here what, what, what do you think of this painting right here you this wanna, painting yeah this one has been on the internet it's made by this person i, I don't want to mention her name but <laughs> is that you having sex with a chick well i didn't do that and the thing is that 
they're just you didn't pose for this no picture, no no did no you? I did not pose for this <laughs> but it's almost like why would someone make something like that uh-huh why do you think someone makes them like that well as the person who made it the girl is this her fantasy no it's not she's not a fan uh -huh. but it's based on real life experiences I can tell you that mm-hmm so you mean you've had sex before <laughs> Life I don't know if she remembers it because she drinks a lot. So. <laughs> so I was, I was like, so when she made this thing, I was like, holy shit. Uh huh. And I said, you know what? This Do you feel like overexposed? Do you like this painting? Are you proud of it? Well, uh, I don't know. I'm. I, it, to me, it's like it's just, it's disturbed. What's disturbing about it? Well, I mean, whoever portrayed this, it not, could be beautiful. This is not a very, very good portrayal of. I mean, she's not red. Like in that face, her like she should be. Her face should be a little more red. Uh huh. You know, and that's oh, because you're choking her. No, I'm not choking her. Oh. And then you know, I mean, it's the body, the position <laughs> or, is, is. Or not, would you normally? No, the body, the position her. of the body isn't really like lined up properly. You can tell, uh -huh. and then like, you know, I don't know. Her tattoos aren't right. You know. And the, so that's your brown, critique brown, of art? Brown, brown, you know, it's just oh, yeah. kind of muddy. It's instructional, you know, almost subliminal to a degree, you know. Uh-huh. So, I just, to me, I was, I, I'm really, you know, something I was, when I first saw that painting, I cried. I, th I thought it was just such a, you know, it was like something from heaven. Uh-huh. You know, and so, to me, I just... It doesn't sound like she got much revenge on you then. <laughs> well, it's not really about, it's not about me. She can't get some more chicken. Okay. Okay, we'll do that. It looks like a witch's den. You know, like Hansel and Gretel would walk upon it. <laughs> and and lo and behold, there's bones of children strewed in front. <laughs> Six. You have a lot of barbecue sauce on you. Oh, yeah. Wait, let's get this first. Oh, yeah. There. Now you look good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah.